welcome to the third tutorial for the Polaroid Transfer Grunge Border Brushes tutorial. This particular tutorial is specifically covering the brushes that come with the Polaroid Transfer Photoshop kit or templates, if you will. This is how we're going to end up. I just am going to show how to apply some of the extra grunginess and chemical look, uh, the chemical edges and grungy edges. So I'm going to load the brushes. Select the brush tool, select the brush palette up here, and go to load brushes. Here's the brushes as they would appear in your product folder that you uh, purchased. They are called the Polaroid Transfer Grunge Brushes, .abr. Also included are the ping files that match the brushes. There are a total of 27. So if you want to use them in a different way other than a brush, they're available for you. But I'm just going to show the brush option here. So click on the brushes, open. You'll see that the brushes have loaded. There are 27 of them. I'm going to select one here for starters. And these brushes were created from actual real Polaroid chemical grunge. So that's what they look like, although they, they would work for pretty much any kind of grunge you wanted. But uh, here I've picked one, and, and what I want to do is, for this particular tutorial, is I'm just going to target in and make an edit to the uh, textured grunge edge that already exists in the uh, template. So let's turn off, I'm going to turn off the first textured edge just so we can watch what we're doing here. And... Um, here is the second textured edge. This is the light edge that you can um, that you can see here along the um, edge of the image. And let me turn off this hue and saturation adjustment again just to show you something. This uh, texture was used with a 50% gray uh, color or non-color, <laughs> if you will. So if you uh, are going to paint directly on that textured edge. You want to select a 50% gray, which I have already have set up here. Uh, the way I did that was I just entered 50% here. Um, that'll be close enough for this. And then um, I've got that layer selected. I'm gonna go back and select my brush, and I'm just I'm gonna start off with this little skinny edge, and um, you can see you could just paint around the edges like so. I'm just clicking down once to do this. And I'm adding that texture right on top of the texture that was already there. Move this over just a little bit. And I'm just stamping down here just as an example. And then if you want to rotate the brush, bring up the brush palette and um, rotate. Rotate that around. You can scooch out into the window and see if it's rotated to the angle you want. That'll be close enough for this. And I'm just going to stamp down a couple times, get me some grunge edge going. And you can also, in that same palette, um, you can swap your brush around to the other direction. So if you want to get a little bit different, uh, get the edge going a little bit different direction. So now I've, I've applied a little bit more edge to that, and then I'm going to go back on and turn my hue and saturation back on. So now I have an enhanced... Uh, grunge edge and you could do the exact same kind of enhancements to the first edge that we had here and a lot of the other brushes I'm gonna go ahead and work on the second edge I've turned the first I'm sorry I'm gonna work on the first edge I've turned the second edge off a lot of the other brushes are are a little heavier so uh, I wanted to um, I'm gonna work on the heavier one as it is and some of them are just kind of big splots of smushed up Polaroid chemical. This is an example of one. In this case, this is kind of large. It may be bigger than we want. And again, I'm going to work on the frame so that it will be colored the same as my frame. Again, I'm going to rotate this. Scooch it out and see if the rotation is where I want. I might actually rotate it the other way. And I just I'm gonna add a little grunge here to make it feel like that um, that chemical is just getting kind of smushed out of the edge of the 
of the rollers as it came out. There's uh, lots of these different brushes are for that kind of an edge. You can also go in and just lay big areas of texture over your image. Now this would probably be more appropriate for uh, the image area texture, which is what we have here. And just for this experiment, I'm going to I'm going to select this uh, image texture. And I'm going to delete it. I'm going to select on delete. And again, I have this set to a 50% gray when I'm clicking in here, so the template will continue to work just as it was designed. Might reduce this a little bit. I'm using my um, left and right bracket keys to do, to move the uh, brush size smaller and larger. I'm just going to stamp down in uh, inside of this area. And you can see I got now I've got this kind of burned, this uh, color dodged effect laid into my image area. Give it a little bit, and then I showed this a little bit before, but you could add a mask to that. Go back in and and maybe um, paint some of that off of the face there if you didn't like it there. And um, we'll just let's delete that. And I'm going to remove that. I'm going to use that same brush again. I believe it was this one. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it was that one. Uh, but I'm going to rotate it a different direction. And size it again. Sorry. Wrong, accidentally pushed the wrong key. Didn't push my bracket key. Again, just sizing this. And again, I'm on this image texture layer. I'm going to stamp down. And then what you might want to do is go in and um, maybe flip that around and put a little more grunge down in this lower area. So you can kind of play with that. Might even throw a little bit back here. Kind of kind of play around with it. You can see, so these brushes were designed to really get in and kind of customize your theme. Um, also, there's a there's a particular look. I'm going to go back to the first edge here. This is back where we were a moment ago. This is the, the image uh, or the uh, grunge border that's currently purple. Uh, it has this hue saturation applied that's making it look purple. I'm going to show you one of the other brushes in here that is um, specific to a Polaroid edge. That one's this one here, number 24. Some of the Polaroid uh, films, I, I discovered in some of the older films that they are um, they have these little dots that are basically it's residue glue that holds the the paper and the chemical and the film together before you pull it apart has these little dots on it though and that's that adds a really interesting and kind of gives a little more authentic Polaroid look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to size it down a little bit and uh, again I'm on that second uh, texture edge I've got the 50% gray selected here to match to match the rest of that. It's a little I'm just going to stamp that down on the edge like that and it can give you a little bit of that you know authentic uh, Polaroid look where it was pulled from the edge of the where the glue edge was pulled. I also have one special brush here I discovered while working with some expired Polaroid film. Some of the really old Polaroid film actually had the word Polaroid and it was it kind of was a di digital look to it that was actually um, on the edge of the film which is kind of interesting. I had never noticed that before. So if you want to add that effect, I'm rotating the brush just a little bit. You, if you notice, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll stamp down and you'll be able to see it. It, it. It's a grungy Polaroid. It says the word Polaroid in a grungy way. And this is directly from a transfer. I didn't make this up. It's actually, actually from the real thing. I can just put it along this edge just to give it a little bit of authentic, authentic, Polaroid grunge look. And again, I'm on that second edge layer, so that's where I'm adding this. But you can see, might zoom in there a little bit so you can see a little bit better. It's kind of light, but that's 
that's kind of uh, another little piece of authentic uh, grunge that I um, discovered in my Polaroid transfer experiments. So I hope you enjoy these uh, brushes. There's lots of uh, options available. There's 27 of them. And uh, you can kind of build uh, the textures up and, and customize the ones that are already provided in the template set. So hope you enjoy playing with those. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Photoshop Island for the Polaroid transfer Photoshop templates and uh, Photoshop brushes that uh, were just demonstrated, as well as all the other Photoshop Island products. I appreciate you stopping by and taking a look.